What is the best legal entity to buying rental real estate? That's today's video. Let's dive in. Hi there, I'm Clayton Morris. I'm the founder of Morris Invest and a longtime real estate investor. And one of the areas that we don't really talk about much, I think, because it maybe doesn't sound as sexy as, you know, the cash flow that we get from rental real estate or the taxes that we save from owning rental real estate. But how you structure your business inside of a legal entity in order to protect yourself is incredibly important. You know, what if a tenant slips and falls in one of your rental properties? and you have that property in your own name, John Smith. Well, the problem is if that tenant sues you and it's in your own name and that rental property is in your own name, you could be in for a world of hurt because now that plaintiff, that tenant can come after not only the rental property assets, but all of your personal assets as well. So John Smith, all of your personal assets are now open because you bought that rental property in your own name huge mistake. So is there a better legal entity for owning real estate than another one? Again, this is something you absolutely want to consult with your own lawyer and your own accounting team on. I am not a lawyer, so full disclaimer, I'm not a lawyer and I'm not an accountant. I'm simply going to tell you the way that we have structured our business and our rental properties um, at the behest of lawyers and accountants. Again, I'm not a lawyer, not an accountant. Regardless of any of this, you always want to have liability insurance. So make sure that you have liability insurance on your rental properties for your company, for your LLC, for it, even if you're in a sole proprietorship, make sure that you have insurance regardless of how you structure your business and how you put your rental properties in, into uh, these different legal entities. So what is a legal entity? Well, it's simple. It's a limited liability corporation. It's a sole proprietorship. It is a C corp. It is an S corp. It is all of these different characterizations for different companies that you can buy properties inside of. Personally, we use a limited liability corporation. The reason we do this is because it limits the liability. So is there a best form of legal entity to buy real estate in? If you talk to many high level accountants or lawyers, they will tell you that owning rental properties inside of an LLC is the way to go. Why? Once again, it limits your overall liability. Their advice to us has long been own up to about $150,000 worth of value in one LLC and then when you be, move beyond that, set up another LLC. What does that mean? Well, that means if we buy three rental properties, most of the ones we buy are about 40, 45, $50,000, and you have three of them, that adds up to $150,000 in value. So if we create an LLC, so we call it, I don't know, uh, I'm gonna make up an LLC name, like Camera Happy LLC. Camera Happy LLC now owns three rental properties, and it's capped. The value is about $150,000. Then my wife and I will set up a second LLC for the other rental properties that we purchase. So a limited liability corporation, we set those up in the states where we own our rental properties. So if we have three rental properties in Indiana or three in Michigan, we're going to set up LLCs in those states where those properties are located. Now, I've worked with a lot of foreign investors, for instance, a couple of Canadian investors who purchased properties with our team, and one of the things that they found out going cross-border is that owning a US-based LLC does not offer them the level of protection that a C Corp would. So, Canadian investor buying real estate in the United States, setting up a C Corp in order to protect themselves legally so that those assets are in that corporation and if they are sued, then the corporation is really the only chunk of this that's on the hook for the liability, uh, not their personal assets. So it's very important to talk with your lawyer, talk with your accountant, and find out what legal entity is best for you. Once again, I'll give you our structure. We purchase our properties in an LLC, and which take about five minutes to set up. They're very, very simple to do. If you go to your Department of State's website, so Indiana Department of State, Pennsylvania Department of State, Delaware Department of State, should be you know state.delaware.gov. Go to the website, 
right there on the website, start new business. Click on that and pick your LLC name. Usually costs a few hundred dollars to set it up right on the website. There are all these other website services out there. I would just ignore those. Just use, go right to the source, do it cheaper, and go right to the government. That's who's gonna do it in the end anyway. Set up your LLC, pick a name that you like, and, uh, and, and go from there. So the way that my wife and I do it is we have those LLCs, then high level ninja trick is that we then have those individual LLCs reporting up to a holding company LLC. And that holding company is in the state of Wyoming because it offers an incredible level of protection. So now those each individual LLCs are reporting up to a holding company and that way it offers an extra layer of protection. Uh, we'll dive a little bit deeper here in a future video on exactly why the benefits of a holding company, but today I just wanted to give you the overview of how we structure it and what are the best legal entities to buy real estate. As Tom Wheelwright, the great accountant, likes to say, uh, you should never, ever buy rental properties in your own name. Um, it's just an absolute disaster of a mistake to do that, to own those properties in your own name. If you get sued, you also don't get any of the tax benefits in the way that you would if you owned them in an LLC or a company or another legal entity. So that's a little overview of what are the best legal entities to buy real estate in. Again, click on the videos below. We have a whole bunch of other resources as we are diving more deeply into how to structure your rental business. I'm Clayton Morris. Thanks so much for subscribing to this channel. We really appreciate it if you haven't already subscribed. Please do because we have videos that publish every week. Thanks everyone. We'll see you next time.